So, you want to smell like a classy gentleman, but you don't want to spend any money. Well, good for you. Hey friends, Ash here with Sense. Hope you're doing well. Today I've got 10 different fragrances for you. And these are really classy, nice smelling fragrances that you can pick up for under $50, assuming that you shop at a discounter. If you don't shop at a discounter, it's not gonna be as cheap. I mean, come on. We've got a lot of good stuff here. Covers the whole, the whole everything. The spectrum of fragrances. Warm weather, cool weather, older dudes, younger dudes, dude dudes. So let's jump into it. Let's check these out. I'm gonna get things kicking off with a fragrance that goes by the name of Gentleman. Because if the fragrance is named, gentle man then obviously it's got to be classy it is gentleman cologne from Givenchy. you could realistically go with any of the gentleman fragrances in this line so if you can find them for under 50 dollars rest assured that it's gentlemanly again it is the name so this one has citrus iris vetiver and broxen it's got kind of a watery aquatic feel to it almost like fresh sprayed iris instead of uh, lipstick, which I only bring up because everyone and their mother will bring up lipstick and makeup when they're talking about Iris. It's almost like you have to do it. And yet at the same time, after the 42,000th time mentioning it, you're just kind of like, <laughs> this one is great in spring and summer. It's office safe. It's great casually. Pretty much everybody can pull this off. Younger guys, middle-aged guys, older guys, doesn't matter. Even the complete douche bro with a popped collar, you know, the popped polo and maybe two pairs of sunglasses. I don't know. That's just what I imagine. Like one pair here and then another pair on top of that one. Yeah, that guy, he can pull it off too. Love this stuff. Smells fantastic. Gentleman cologne. Yeah, of course that's gonna have you smell like gentlemanly. Next up, we're gonna throw it back a little bit. Not in terms of the fragrance being really old, but the way it smells does have a throwback feel to it. This one you can find a lot of times at TJ Maxx and Ross's. Not as commonly now as you used to be able to, but they're still there and they're easily found online for a pretty decent price. It is English Laundry Notting Hill. So with that name Notting Hill, I think I mainly just think of that, like what was it, Hugh Grant romantic comedy or something. This one has bergamot, pepper, lemon, and musk as some of the notes in the scent. Now, it's got a little bit of a similarity to Creed Viking, which is back here somewhere. And also to a lesser extent, Ralph Lauren Safari. So that's what I meant about it having a little bit of that throwback feel, kind of like a, you know, mid to late nineties kind of vibe to an extent. It's kind of weird even thinking of that as old school, but I guess nowadays it kind of is like this old school ish, clean, masculine vibe to it. Aromatic and sharp citrus with bits of spice and then musk. Uh, especially in the base of the scent. It is though a really nice fragrance, even if the presentation is maybe slightly iffy. If you don't know what I'm talking about, the box for these is a, a box that opens like so, but it looks really cheap up close. The cap is kind of cheap and turdy and the atomizer is bleh. Fragrance though, not bad. Now this next fragrance, basically is a riff on a very popular scent. So if you don't want to spend the money to get that more expensive fragrance, you can get this one and it'll do 90% of that job for you. It's Masoni Parfum Pour Homme. I got a tester, so I don't even have a cap. If that bothers you, do not get the tester because the full presentation of this is actually pretty nice. The cap is magnetic, it looks really good. And overall, if you're gonna have it on your shelf and it's important to you that it looks good, you're gonna wanna get that full presentation. This one's got grapefruit, lavender, ginger, and some woods in the scent, and it smells similar to Bleu de Chanel which is of course one of the most popular fragrances on the market and has been for a long time. So this is gonna get you that vibe, that versatility, that compliment factor, everything else that comes with Blue de Chanel only 
it costs much less. And thankfully, since this is a real house, Masoni, not just some, you know, arm off fragrance, no shot at arm off, but you know, Masoni carries a little more weight. It's gonna look nicer overall in the collection, in my opinion. And it also might make you feel better about owning it. Now, this next one has been a staple for me for a while. It's one of my go-tos when I just wanna smell fresh and clean, but at the same time, well put together. The fragrance is not divisive whatsoever. There's nothing in here that is going to potentially turn people off or make them think that you smell like a freak. Really good, really easy to pull off. Versace Porum. Citrus, Neroli, Tonka, and Musk. Some of the notes and the scent smell similar to Chanel Allure Homme Sport, only this one a little bit fresher, whereas Allure Homme Sport, a little more dense. Also Allure Homme Sport, more of a concentration on this sort of creamy orange, whereas here you've got clean white florals. Versace Porum, like I said, for a long time was an office staple for me. So it was one of those fragrances. I had a few, but it was one of those fragrances that if I was running late or I just didn't know what to wear, you just grab it, spray it and go. Price is right on that. Doesn't cost all that much from discounters. Presentation is good and clean and classy. It's a great scent. We've had a whole bunch of warm weather fragrances, so let's switch it up, go with something better for cool weather. John Varvatos, not Varvatos vintage, just Varvatos. Got leather, amber, tamarind, dates, and vanilla some of the notes in the scent. This stuff, very classy, masculine, and extremely mass appealing. The only real drawback for this fragrance is the performance. It's not very good. Maybe this is one of those fragrances that if you have a performance enhancer, you might wanna use it on it because it's got a little problem with lasting very long. Now, of course, there are other ways you could try to handle that. You could try to spray it on a little bit heavier you know, spray it on your clothing, maybe even into your hair, assuming that you have some. If you have a hat, maybe just spray it on top of the hat. Pss, pss, pss. Or maybe you're one of the lucky people and it works very well for you in terms of longevity and projection. If that's the case, <laughs> wear the heck out of it. That one gets overlooked for Varvatos Vintage. Now, I love Varvatos Vintage. I think it's fantastic. But that one is very solid as well. And it's especially interesting because you have all these sweet notes in there, but you have some ones that you don't see very often. Tamarind and dates being the most prominent notes in there that you don't see in, in mint's fragrance much at all. So with that one, you could think of it as a very wearable leather fragrance with copious amounts of warm, sweet, and spicy notes kind of flowing around it. Really well done, absolutely worth checking out, and for the price, it's a steal. Next up, one of my all-time favorite cheapies. This thing is killer if you're wanting to smell classy, if you're wanting to smell gentlemanly, grown up. Yeah, even if you're not, maybe you just want to like fake it for a day, you could wear this. It's Berlant Vetiver. This one's got vetiver, bergamot, tobacco, and leather, along with oak moss and a whole bunch of other notes. One of those old school styles where they just wanna give you everything in the entire fragrance, everything you could possibly smell 1% of. Now I know that like the go-to designer vetiver fragrance is pretty much gray vetiver by Tom Ford. That's the one everybody will point to and be like, that's it. That's the pinnacle. That's the king. And I admit, Grey Vetiver is awesome. I love it. But this is much more affordable and it's got this richness, this complexity, and this depth to it that in this price range <laughs> is extremely, extremely rare. Now, of course, it does have a little more of a throwback feel to it. So it probably will appeal more to guys middle-aged and older. A lot of younger guys may not go for it because it doesn't have that requisite sweetness that so many people desire. Sound like an old man. All these youngsters, all they want is that sweet fragrance. Back in my day, well, I used to wear some stuff that smelled like trees and tobacco. Love Vetiver though. Absolutely love it. If you're a fan of the note of Vetiver, you owe it to yourself to check that out and probably own a bottle. And then you can be like me and get a whole bunch of vintage bottles of this stuff. So that's one style of vetiver. Here's another. This is linen vetiver from Banana Republic, part of their Icon line. This one has bergamot, iris, pedigree, musk, and of course, vetiver as some of the notes in the scent. And this is gonna be much more of a fresh vetiver scent. The iris plays right in with the vetiver and the iris is not entirely different 
from what you're gonna find in Gentleman Cologne earlier in the video. It's that clean iris. It's very, very fresh. It doesn't smell at all heavy. It doesn't drag the fragrance down at all. You got pops of green throughout here, definitely a sweeter fragrance than Guerlain Vetiver. I think that it is one of the better fragrances in the Banana Republic Icon line. And that one's gonna be great for the office or casual situations in spring through fall, basically. Next up, I wanna talk to you guys about a fragrance that I like a lot. It's another one that I wore to the office a bunch that apparently a lot of people just don't seem to like. When I say that, I mean people online. People in real life seem to like it just fine. It's Dolce & Gabbana's Intenso. This is a flanker to pour ohm. Tobacco, hay, sandalwood, and lavender. It does very much remind me of the original Dolce & Gabbana's pour ohm, of course, only here, I think that it's just overall more well done. Now, if you can find a vintage bottle of Dolce & Gabbana's Pour Homme, the one that has the actual sticker on the front, as opposed to just the, the text on the bottle, I would go for that. But if you can't, and it comes down to either Dolce & Gabbana's Pour Homme or Intenso, I would personally go with Intenso. Tobacco here is not really an overly sweet pipe tobacco. It's probably obvious when you look at hay being one of the main notes. You don't typically think of sweet honey pipe tobacco and then hay at the same time. It's got a really nice, clean, masculine, aromatic lavender in here, which melts together perfectly with the hay and that tobacco leaf. Absolutely love Intenso. That is really just for the niche of office wear for me. One of the best ones. Again, though, it is going to appeal more to people middle aged and older, so keep that in mind. This next fragrance is one of those ones that is under $50, assuming it's in stock. If it's not in stock, you're gonna have to go to eBay, and then people are gonna probably try to gouge you on the pricing, so ugh. Mustache Eau de Parfum, and frankly, Mustache Eau de Toilette could be in this list also. So Mustache Eau de Toilette, that one's easier to find. That one is pretty much always in stock. It's also cheaper than the Eau de Parfum, and that one is gonna give you a similar vibe to Eau Sauvage Eau de Toilette from Dior. Mustache Eau de Parfum, however, is gonna give you a similar vibe to Tuxedo from Yves Saint Laurent. And what is a tuxedo if not classy? This one has benzoin, vanilla, cedar, and pink pepper. It is surprisingly fantastic. I don't know how else to put it. If you've never smelled that before, first time you smell it, you will likely be like, what? It smells that good and I paid how much? Okay, I'll take it. Because that is essentially how I felt the first time I smelled it. There are many times that fragrances get hyped up for one reason or another, and then you smell them and you just think to yourself, yeah, that's not worth it. That actually kind of sucks. With this one, I felt like I was the last person on earth smelling it after all the hype because I waited a long time. And then when I did get my nose on it, I just thought, well, hell, everyone was right. So that one, fall, winter time, and a little more toward the evening side of where it is great. It's worth the hype, check it out. Last but not least, Guerlain, once again, Launched on to Guerlain, and this is the Eau de Toilette. Now I have to bring this up every time because Guerlain changed the bottles. They shouldn't have done that. This bottle is really nice, but this is an older bottle. Now it looks like that. It looks more similar to this style of bottle, only with a different cap. One has lemon, star anise, cacao, and patchouli. And this, along with vetiver, has been one of my, my favorite go-to cheapy fragrances for a number of years now. The star anise, the cacao, and the patchouli work together amazingly here. It has this kind of dustiness to it, but at the same time, this, this great kind of sophisticated, slightly mysterious vibe. There's also an Eau de Parfum version of this fragrance. It's usually a little bit more expensive though, but if you really love this and you wanna have two different shades, two different styles of the same scent, you could check that one out as well. That one's gonna lean a little bit more toward formal use. It's gonna lean a little more toward nighttime wear and also cool weather situations. Though like with pretty much every fragrance, just wear it whenever you want. As long as you understand where you're going, who you're gonna be around and all that good stuff, how the fragrance works off your skin, blah, blah, blah. So there we go, guys. 10 different fragrances that will have you smelling like a classy gentleman under 50 bucks each because maybe you don't wanna to spend too much, but you wanna smell like you did. Let me know in the comments below some fragrances that you personally would reach for. If you're trying to smell really well put together, 
but you didn't want to spend too much money. As always, thanks for hanging with me. Thanks for all your support. Stay safe out there. I'll see you guys tomorrow with another fragrance video. See you later.